In this tutorial, I will walk you through and explain Rocket Permission System, so you can add ranks like VAP and Moderator to your server. I will also show you how you can add players to those ranks, and set up cooldowns, add prefixes and change their chat message colors. Let's get started. Before we begin, you must have Rocket installed on your server. If you don't have it, check out my previous video about it. The link will be in the description. In this video, I'll be using my own game server control panel, but if you are hosting your server on some hosting provider like Pine Hosting or Bisect Hosting, it will probably look similar. Start by entering the files page of your server. From there, navigate to Servers, Unturned, Rocket. In this directory, you will see multiple .xml files one of which will be permissions.config.xml. Open it. Let's look at the structure of this configuration file. There are two main parts, default group and groups. The default group specifies which of the groups should be automatically assigned to every player that joins the server. The groups element consists of multiple group items. Each group has multiple properties, I will walk you through now. First, there is the ID, that should be a unique identifier of the given group. It is used in the default group element and when using p command to assign players to group. For example, to give someone VIP, you can type slash p add the username of the player, for example, macro, and then ID of the group, for example, VIP. Next there is display name. As the name suggests, it is a public name of the group visible to players, for example, when they use p command. Then there is prefix and suffix. They aren't used in default configuration, but you can use them like this to append text at the beginning or end of the player's name. Remember that if you give someone a rank with prefix while they are already on the server, they will have to reconnect to add prefix to their name. Same with suffix. Color is a hex or known name of the color. It is used to change player's messages color in chat. Finally, we get to members, which is a list of Steam64 IDs. There are two ways to add members. You can do it by adding the Steam64 ID of a player to the permissions group you want them to have. In this example, I give to myself a VIP rank. Then save the file and reload permissions by using p-reload command in the console. Or use previously mentioned p-add command if player is on the server. The next two options are parent group and priority. You can use parent group if you want to inherit permissions from another group. It is useful when you have multiple ranks that are upgradable, like on Unbidden. Their MVP rank has its own vault, but also includes a vault from previous rank VIP. The configuration for that must look something like this. Priority is also important, especially to put moderator and admin ranks above everything else. So if a player has VIP and moderator groups, he is labeled in chat as moderator. The lower the priority value, the more important is the rank. Permissions are a key feature in group settings. They determine what group members can do. While permissions often grant access to specific commands, they can do more than that. For instance, in my RP licenses plugin, there aren't any commands, but you can use permissions to allow players to drive vehicles without carrying a license item. You do this by adding them to a group with the license.vehicle permission. Permissions also have a cooldown feature. This lets you limit how often a group member can use a particular command. It's useful for balancing powerful commands like heal or v that you see in the default configuration. Cooldown is specified in seconds. So for example, 120 is 2 minutes. I will now show you how to edit this permissions.config.xml file. As you can see, in the default configuration you have two groups one which is default, and it is set as a default group for Rocket, so every player 
will be able to run commands specified in the permissions section here. And there is also example VIP rank, which has an orange color and three permissions. So how do you remove permissions? Well, simply select permissions you want to remove. For example, in the default group, I'm going to remove compass and rocket and simply delete it. And now if you want to add permission, you want to copy one of the permissions line from here and paste it in between this permissions tags. So I'm going to add a new permission to default group, which will be permission to use home command. And now I want to set cooldown for this command. So I'm going to change the cooldown value to 300 seconds, which is 5 minutes. I will now show you how we can edit the VIP rank. First, I'm going to add prefix. So to do this, I'm going to have to edit this prefix tag by removing the slash and tag, and then uh, closing the tag, then typing in the value I want the prefix to have, for example, square brackets with VIP in it, and a single space that will separate name from the prefix. And then I have to close this tag. So I have to type in, open the tags, then write slash, and type in prefix, and then close it. Next I will change the color. So I'm going to replace this hex value with the color name yellow. Next I'm going to remove the member of this rank, which is a Steam ID of Rocket Mod Creator. Next I'm going to change the permissions. I'm going to remove heal and v command permissions and replace effect permission with airdrop. And I'm going to set a cooldown for this command to 3600 seconds, which will be one hour. Finally, I will add a new moderator rank by duplicating the VIP rank group. So I'll do it by copying the VIP group. Make sure to copy all in between the group tags, including them. Then I'm going to paste it above the VIP rank, which will make it more important. And I'm going to change ID to moderator the display name to moderator as well, but starting with capital letter. And I also want my moderator rank to have prefix, so I'll change the VIP to moderator. Then I'll change color to green. And instead of airdrop permission, I'm gonna give it uh, moderation permissions like ban, unban and kick. So in order to do that, I'm first going to remove the cooldown and change airdrop to ban, for example. And now, because I want to add three more permissions, I'm going to select this, copy, and then in new line, paste it three times. And finally, rename it to the appropriate permissions. So I'm going to Add Anban, Kick, and Spy. Finally, because I want all my moderators to have VIP rank, I will set the parent group of moderator rank to VIP. So this will allow moderators to run airdrop command as well. And they will have a one hour cooldown on it. Save the file. Now in order to apply changes, I'm gonna have to restart the server or simply type reload command in the console. To test my changes, I'm going to join the server, but before I do that, I'll give myself a moderator rank to see if I get it. Now I can join the server. As you can see, I joined the server and I have moderator prefix and the green color in chat. When I type slash p, you can see I have permissions to all the commands ban, unban, kick, spy, and airdrop. I'm gonna now run airdrop command once. 
you can see it worked. But now if I try to type it again, it won't work and it will tell me that it, the command is on the cooldown. And I will have to wait before using it again. Thank you for watching.